Hey YouTube, it's Shaker here and we're bringing you another one. I'm a digital artist who likes to watch movies with the people and I'm about to give you my top 10 favorite movies of the year 2023. I saw, I don't know, close to 30 movies okay, in the movie theater and yet missed so many movies. So these are my top 10. Let's go on right on into it. Number 10, The Little Mermaid. I wanted it to go higher, but... I couldn't get it higher, and I felt it disrespectful to not put it on the list, so it's number 10. Wonderful movie. The actors did a really good job. The CGI was pretty good, like an 8 out of 10 CGI. The music was so good, and the nostalgic feeling was so large and warm and cool because uh, it was underwater. Uh, okay. <clears throat> anyway, point is, so good, and I really enjoyed this movie. Number nine, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Man, I was so happy to see that Marvel reminded us that they can do it. Because I didn't feel they was doing the best that they could this year, but Marvel hasn't been doing the best lately, but I felt that was really good. It got a tear. They got a tear out of my face. Um, it was a great story. You, The villain was very horrible. And you really felt that Rocket really... You, you understood him now. Like, he wasn't just some crazy, crazy character. Now it's like, no, no, I get what he went through with his friends and family. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Number eight. Gran Turismo. I really wanted to make this higher on the list because Gran Turismo is so good. And it's a simple movie, you know, besides the fact of you know, dealing with all the cars and all the crazy stuff that's going on. But it's not a bunch of CGI and stuff going on. And when they did do CGI, it had some really cool moments. But it was really, really a warm movie. And I love the concept of him trying to figure out his path and not letting the world stop him from doing what he wants to do just because he's not a race car driver doesn't mean he can't do it yes i understand the feeling of i've been doing this for years and here come this gamer trying to take my spot i get it but you have to be open to understand what people are going through and understand that everybody has their own path to get to sometimes the same spot number seven wonka yeah Wonka was a really good movie. I didn't expect it to be good. I was like, oh, is it going to be too cheesy? Are we over it? I mean, do we need another Wonka movie? I don't know. Really, really good. Music was giving it. Uh, the temperature of the movie was giving it. The texture of the movie was giving it. The actors were giving it. You really believe he's going to be... The thing, too, about that movie, I realized, we know the outcome. He's a marketing genius, Wonka. He is a brilliant, magnificent genius. We don't, we we always, oh, because he's, you know, he's Willy Wonka, right? He's crazy. and He is brilliant. So knowing that and watching this movie, you're like, oh, wow. He's about to, this is why he's brilliant. This is what he, he's about to turn into what we know him to be. This is a part of his journey, and it's great to see it. Number six, The Color Purple. <laughs> the Color Purple, not only was the music phenomenal, not only was the actors amazing, but to take this classic movie that is really tough to watch and make it happy. It's a happy movie. For this movie to be very dark and the story to be kind of really like rough, they made that a very beautiful depictment of a story that we all know and love. So, bravo to that. Number five, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. What a fantastic movie. Like, the fact that Viola Davis brought to life such a horrible character, like such a villainous character, was so great to see. And the fact of the matter is, without her in it, I think it would have been a good movie, but we needed someone like her to explain how Snow became 
such a monster. Because Snow is also a monster. But you needed someone worse to him to know how he became that. Um, I love that they kept the feeling that we understand about Hunger Games and brought that into this movie. Although it's been some years since, what, Mockingjay Part 2. To see a new take on that was fantastic. Number four, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Wow, what? That Out of all the movies this year, I think that one is one of the movies that is very much a entertainment, family, funny movie. Like, even if you don't know what's going on, because there's moments you're like, what is going on? These kids are crazy. But just, it's so fun to watch because they're so, like, Wacky, I was about to say Willy Wonka. They're so wacky that you really, you vibe with them. And they're teenagers, not grown, not grown turtles. These are teenagers and they act like teenagers. And I love that. And another thing is, it was nice to watch a movie that's so New York in New York. You know what I mean? I'm from Philly, but I'm a New Yorker. You know what I mean? So it was very nice to see that. Number three, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Wow. Delicious. <laughs> I actually had to watch it again the other day. I was like, this movie is phenomenal. Not only the style and the, you know, because they made this style that, they this is a new style. We're all trying to get used to it. And we're all becoming a fan of this look. So to see them just like, all right, we did this and we're going to, we're going to sit in it. Love that. So I'm very excited for the second part for the third movie actually click right here to find out where i want this where i ranked the new movie for 2024 where i ranked it click right here for that number two air listen <laughs> here we go again viola davis <laughs> she's an egot for what for a reason this mom knew exactly what michael jordan needed <laughs> The way they did this movie, first of all, they never shows the character who's playing Michael Jordan's face. He's always kind of like in silhouette or he's in the background or his back is turned. I love when directors decide to do stuff like that because that's a lot of hard planning. And I love that type of detail when it's like, oh, we're going to always keep them in shadow. We're going to always keep them in the background. I love that type of thing. And Viola's, Viola Davis... She wasn't as tough as we know her to be because she was depicting someone who is alive and an actual, actual person. But it was like still very much a powerhouse type of person of like, no, I know my son's worth it. I know he's gonna he's the one who's the money maker here. So then we're gonna do it like this. I love that. She was very much like, no, you don't get to see my son until I allow you to see him. You know what I mean? Like, but not so bossy where it's like, all right, ma'am, calm down. Like a really good mix and then the guy who believed in him it wasn't just about money it was like no no he i seen him play he's our he's the he's the one we wanted to base the sneaker brand off of nike saw something in him and then they were like all right he's the one and i oh such a good if you want to talk about inspiration if you have an idea of a product or a thing nike Air is a good, good, good movie for that. Okay, now before we get into the number one spot, let's go through some honorable mentions. First honorable mention, Oppenheimer. Um, it's only on the list of the honorable mention because I felt that it is a phenomenal display of cinematography. It's beautiful, it's a long movie, but it's really good, the sound design is really good. But I just, you know, I was only going to do 10. So it had to go somewhere. So I put in honorable mentions. <laughs> Next honorable mention, the creator. Man, should have gone on the list. But there's so many other good ones. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. But the creator is so good. And you really, it's really deep. It's really intellectual. You got to, it's a little bit of thinking and understanding, like, what, the AI is going through, and it's always, it's always posing the question, is it just a robot, or is there some type of, like, does the character, does the robots have empathy, and do they feel, and do they, you know, and it's that, you know, or do they deserve freedom, or how do we treat them just like how we treat our cell phones, or do we treat them like we treat humans, like, finding that balance, and, you know, and then there's a war, there's a lot of stuff going on in this movie, 
and I think it's one of those movies that you definitely want to check out. The CGI is so good. It's so simple CGI, but so perfectly placed. Definitely go ahead and check out The Creator whenever it hits streaming. And the last honorable mention, The Flash. You know, although DC is done, <laughs> done, downhill, down the drain, The Flash actually was not that bad. People was really hating on it, but I'm like, it's really not that bad. Um, I thought the actor did pretty well. Um, I love a time travel situation. I love a time travel movie. You know, I want to do a top 10 time travel movies. It's probably going to make it on the list. I don't know where it's going to rank, but, you know, just things like that. Um, the CGI was a little rubbery, but I, they said they did it on purpose, but they could be lying. But whether they did it on purpose or not, I still thought it looked pretty cool, even though it didn't look realistic. So, I don't know. I thought it was a good movie, and it made me cry, <laughs> which <laughs> I still am shocked that The Flash got a tear out of me. Because, <laughs> come on now. But... It was really, 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 really good. Now, before we go into the number one spot, let me know in the comments down below if my ranking is off, okay? Should I have put somebody else there? Let me know in the comments what your number one spot is because my number one spot is the Super Mario Bros. movie. I'm sorry. That was the best movie of the year. That was the absolute best movie of the year because here's the thing. I, in any movie that makes me upset that it ended is a good movie. If I feel like I miss them, I miss the characters, I miss that world. I, if I feel like I lost something after the movie is over, it's a good movie. Actually, the way I feel about this movie is how I felt when uh, Into the Spider-Verse first came out. And that was, was a few years ago. And I saw it in the movie theater. I went back and watched it in the movie theater again. That's how good it was like it was like really really good super mario brothers has that same feeling and it's not just the nostalgia like the nostalgia is at a level i've never felt before in a movie but it's just because the story is so warm believable in the sense that it's about two brothers who lost each other and they have to find each other in at the end so beautiful and i love that it wasn't about peach and mario's love they're going to fall in love at some point, right? Maybe in the second movie or something. But I'm so glad that wasn't what they highlighted in this movie. Because that's not what this is about. This is about the Super Mario Brothers. And when the trailer came out and when everybody was talking about it, I'm like, oh, a Mario movie, a Mario movie. But to see that, no, it yes, it's a Mario movie because he's the main character. But no, it's about M Mario and Luigi. Like... It didn't feel like Luigi was just pushed to the side or just kind of slipped in there. It felt like it was about them. And I love that. I really, really love that. And you know what? Y'all was all hating on Chris Pratt's voice. But when the movie came out, nobody was saying nothing. <laughs> so what are we talking about? And my thing was, as much as I understood the people's frustration, I'm like, give, give it a chance. Like... Give it a chance. And I'm glad people gave it a chance because they seem to have really loved the Super Mario Brothers. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my ranking. I look forward to this new year. There's so much stuff coming. I'm doing a Kickstarter soon. Stay tuned for that. I got some things coming down the pike. Is it pike or pipe? Pike line or pipeline? Anyway, it's coming down. And I'm excited for you guys to see it. I don't want to show you guys yet because I'm still in the planning mode. But I just wanted to know, let you guys know that there's things coming. Okay? If you have not already, don't forget to like, subscribe, push that notification button. Because we're going to keep bringing this stuff to you. That's it. My army. Koopas. Koopas. Whatever uh, those things what are. What are you doing? I know you're not about to leave. It's mad buttons down there. You ain't push out one of them. You better subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Yeah, I'll do anything for my brother. We're going to save him. Yes! Fire!